Hello, this is Oliver and welcome to our sneak peek preview of our upcoming plugin which is called Transition Master. And Transition, this is exactly what it does. It gives you totally freedom in your favorite host application regarding transition, transition styles and transition presets. So now with this plugin you can create your own transition, your own transition styles, can manipulate them, you can save as a preset and you can share it cross, uh, cross platform means you can uh, make a transition in DaVinci's Resolve and use them in Adobe After Effects or Adobe Premiere, even Nuke or Sony Vegas. And let's have a look what this can do for you and uh, let me start if you like to use a transition between these two, cl two clips in your favorite host application. Normally you go to video transitions. For example, we use this radial wipe. Uh, you drag that onto your footage and if you have a preview, this is what you get. A very standard transition and there is not much options to manipulate that. You can manipulate the length by dragging from left to right. And you can ma manipulate in DaVinci's Resolve the easy ease. And that's mainly it. Okay. If you want to have a rotating, a rotating a transition with all zoom or glitch effect going on there, you have to install a preset pack which is already on the market and you have to take care about the frame rate, you have to load that each time you start a new project, you have to import all the footage and these transitions are driven by Fusion in Nuke or After Effects in Premiere Pro and this is what we think is not a very handy or useful um, behavior of a transition and that's why we decided to create the Transition Master and let me showcase you how this behaves. Um, if you go to your transitions you will find the Transition Master Pro, you drag that as a normal transition onto your clip, it behaves like a normal transition should be, you can manipulate the length You can manipulate easy ease and you can man manipulate the style completely and you can build up your own preset. First let me have a look at the presets. So these are some presets we already built with the Transition Master Pro. Uh, let me showcase you for example the Rotation A and let me give you a real life preview. So this is a real life preview on a normal machine. This is not a power machine, it's a normal machine and you see how fast it is and you get a very cool easy ease transition from one to another. If you like to speed it up, simply drag the footage, make it a bit shorter and you will have a shorter transition. Give him a second for the preview and here we go. That's it. If you like to change the style of this, so this, these are some presets we already built. For example, let's say block vertical this is another option. Here we go. Some cool lines and blocks are blending between. And um, yeah, let me reset that to give you a quick overview of the settings. Very short one. So first let me drag it a little bit longer and we go to here so that we are just in the middle of the transition. And let me reset that. Here we go. So now we have a normal cross freight. This is how it starts all the time. And uh, yes, let's have a look. Uh, first, you can of course offset your footage as you like in all directions, X, Y. You can scale that X, Y. You can rotate your footage during the transition, of course. You can tilt, you can skew. Uh, we have some uh, cool grid options. If you activate the grid, you have some grid options. You can play with the grid cells in H and V. You can scale the grid in all positions and do some other very fancy stuff with that. So we have this grid option. We have some time remap, which is very cool. Um, we have some post processing. For example, if you just like to have a glitch shaky effect, uh, we have that here, shake mode, chromatic aberration, and it already starts with this aberration. As you see, we got some issues here because this is the camera shake and it doesn't uh, mirror perfectly and this is why we have here 
the clamp mode and you ch uh, change that to reflect and you have a perfect uh, shaky glitchy effect let me showcase you that let's make a preview here we go it's easy as that of course you can manipulate the shake frequency the offset and all of the stuff and a lot of things more you have some blur modes you have some pixelation um, you can check your output mode for regarding this the time remap but I will go to this into an in-depth tutorial if we already ship this uh, plugin and the very cool thing is if you do a preset in DaVinci uh, Resolve for example and you save this preset and let's jump over to After Effects you can use these prefect, uh, presets uh, perfectly also in After Effects so you can use that cross-platform so you make one preset and you can use that in After Effects, Premiere Pro, uh, Nuke, Sony Vegas and DaVinci as a native plugin for example here we have the uh, so chocolate clip and here we have uh, this uh, explosion clip and we want to blend between these two clips in After Effects so here is what we have so here's the transition you can keyframe that over time and here we have a block transition and for example if you like to have this uh, block vertical as we had in uh, DaVinci Resolve before here you have the transition it's easy as that and you can manipulate that of course also in After Effects and you can resave that and can use it uh, the next time in uh, DaVinci Resolve so this is a cross-platform plugin which is usable as its presets in all mainly used host applications for example let's go to Premiere Pro uh, this is your clip and this is the second clip here we go and we'd like to have a transition this place you simply drag that onto your clip so here's the cut this is what it looks so far and again in your video transitions you find the transition master pro you drag that onto your footage like any normal transition and this is what we have you see how fast it is and uh, let's say when I click on this transition and let's say we want to have a let's make a rotate B it's also a preset you see before in uh, DaVinci's Resolve and let's have a look at the preview here we go you see how fast the preview is and uh, the cool thing is in DaVinci uh, sorry not in DaVinci <laughs> the cool thing is in Premiere Pro uh, Premiere gives you only the option, uh, option to have a linear um, transition so there's no way to change this transition into a easy ease transition for example uh, only way is go to after effects and manipulate it there and go back to premiere pro and then you have the easy ease with our transition master you have the option to easy ease directly in premiere pro so here are the easy ease settings and you can choose between all of these easy ease settings so it means if you don't like to have it easy ease switch it off and you will have a transition which is not easing anymore so it's linear from A to B you see that it's simply linear A to B looks not very good but if you use easy ease smooth in out you have this transition easy east or you like to have a zoom or moving from left to right so let's say move left change the transition and preview that here we go it's easy as that so this is what transition master can do for you make sure to follow us on instagram so here we have the platoon by lumi which is our uh, after effects plugin and uh, we post all the news uh, around uh, transition master here on our instagram channel make sure if you like that and if you like to keep updated to follow us here we will post release dates and new features uh, all the time here in our instagram account um, hope you enjoyed this video hope you are looking forward to have the transition master running uh, as i said it will coming soon we think about middle of the year 2020 uh, it's available on download on aascripts.com and uh, yeah Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time. Bye.